Fort Lauderdale, Florida, December 5th, 1945. A squadron of Navy torpedo bombers, collectively known as Flight 19, takes off for what is supposed to be a routine training mission over the Atlantic Ocean. It was five U.S. Navy TBM patrol bombers that were flying on basically a uh, practice navigation mission. It was the last flight that was required by the cadets before graduation. The flight leader said that both of his compasses on board his aircraft were inoperable. Well, the chances of both compasses going bad at the same time is just extremely remote. And there was also confusion between the flight leader and the student pilots about which way they should be going. All five planes experienced equipment malfunctions. And then all five disappeared from radar. Their last communication consisted of nothing but eerie static. This is unprecedented. Navy crewmen in airplanes simply disappeared off the face of the Earth. Now, of course, hundreds of theories have been proposed. The most logical theory is the weather. Perhaps there was a sudden hurricane that came out of nowhere, and people got confused, and as a consequence, they dove right into the water. But the record and the data is sparse, and it's because our technology, our sensors, were very primitive back then. So there is a chance that 100 years from now, we'll still be debating what happened. The disappearance of Flight 19 is just one of the many mysterious vanishings that have taken place in that part of the Atlantic Ocean, an area that is now known as the Bermuda Triangle. Airplanes, boats, and people have just disappeared for as long as we've been keeping records of travel through that area. And it's been very much a mystery of, is there something special about it? Do the characteristics of the Bermuda Triangle make it a, a unique or, or uh, uh, individual body of water? In, in some ways, yes. You go from Bermuda, a 1,000 miles southwest to Florida. You go about a 1,000 miles over to Puerto Rico. And then you go back a 1,000 miles north to Bermuda. That is a, almost a perfect isosceles triangle. The Bermuda Triangle area, because you're right near the jet stream, and you do have extremes of weather and ocean conditions. All of these will interact with the electromagnetic field of the Earth. And so it's definitely a possibility that you have some sort of magnetic anomaly. When you think about possible reasons that people have weird experiences in the Bermuda Triangle, that could be a potential cause. Are the strange occurrences that take place within the Bermuda Triangle proof that we don't understand our planet as well as we think? Well, in any case, it's safe to say that these mysterious disappearances force us to challenge our preconceived notions about what we believe is fact, what we believe is fiction, and what we're willing to accept as being simply unexplained.